What's up guys, Tony from Tucker Speed here. Got another video, an install video. I'm going to be installing the Trask Tornado Turbo Kit here on my personal road glide. And uh, gonna walk you through a little bit of the install and uh, some ins and outs and key points. Uh, I also have to, you know, remove a few pieces to start the install. But one big thing that we realize is my Speed Merchant mids and that turbo kit don't really work well together or at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to remove these. I think I have a good solution to it. I'm gonna kind of work through it here in the video and the install and we'll find out if it works. And if it does, it should uh, help a lot of dudes out that are trying to run both the turbo and mid still. So that should be good. I'm gonna be removing the Sly Fox pipe. I've already got my air cleaner removed and out of the way, I already sold it and uh, that worked out good for me. So. Uh, I'm going to start removing this stuff, but before I do, just remember, like and subscribe. Stay up to date on this channel. We'll keep bringing you new videos and installs and how-tos, tech tips, and all that fun stuff. I'm going to get it removed, and then we'll talk about our parts list. All right, so I got the pipe off. I got a bleed to uh, rear brake system so I can get the master cylinder off these mid controls. I'll get these mid controls out of the way, all the bolts for the uh, transmission side cover and everything put back in place. And then we'll be ready to start talking about the install on the, on the turbo kit. I got the mid control set removed off the right side. I gotta go round up some hardware to replace, to put on this clutch release cover. And then I'm gonna jump over onto the other side and get it removed from the primary side and then we'll be ready for turbo install. All right, so now that I've got everything removed from the motorcycle, uh, before we jump into the install, I kinda wanna just go over what's included in this kit. This is the Trask Tornado Kit that's available uh, directly through Drag Specialties. Um, and you know, it's very similar if you were to order it directly from Trask. These kits are cool because you can order it. You know, Drag has them in stock on the shelf ready to ship. You know, order it yourself and you're gonna get it, you know, in a couple of days, as long as they're not on back order, stuff like that. If you wanted to order a kit from Trask, they build them to order and they could take a couple of weeks to kind of piece them together and get them ready for shipment and sent out. So this, this kit's super cool. Um, this kit I pulled out and actually have powder coated a couple of my pieces just to match the bike already. Uh, but this is really what you get inside that kit. Uh, you know, you get your headers, uh, obviously the turbo with the charge tube and the exhaust, uh, V band clamps for the exhaust side. Uh, we got the wastegate with the little dump tube, uh, V band clamps for that, the intake or plenum there with the front uh, glass plate. This is the plenum support plate or backing plate. We've got the air filter. It comes with some heavy duty clutch springs, injectors. I believe these are 5.9s. If I remember right, they're a yellow red band injector. And we have injector adapters to adapt to the stock wire harness. This is our intake charge tube that'll connect the uh, intake, or, uh, sorry, the turbo to the plenum. We got our boost gauge, cam cover. Uh, cam cover looks a little bit different. It has an oil drain fitting that sticks out off the front of it and a couple of studs uh, that have brackets that attach to it that support the headers and the turbo and the weight of it. I got my Thundermax here. Now the Thundermax is not included with this kit. You do have to order it separately and it will be ordered you know, model specific. Uh, we have our oil drain our, uh, or our breather vent tubes. Uh, we have an oil feed line. We have our wastegate hose and spark plugs, gaskets, all the Cometic gaskets in there. It's got a baggie of hardware. So yeah, pretty straightforward, not too bad. It's gonna be a pretty straightforward install. Uh, my next step, I'm gonna jump back on the bike. I'm gonna get the cam cover removed. I'm gonna pull the tank off just so that I can get up top and get the uh, injectors changed and the map sensors changed and go from there. So I'm gonna start removing some more parts.
All right, I'm gonna get my cam cover installed first here. Then we'll get our brackets for our headers and turbo installed onto that. Put a little blue Loctite on these bolts. Okay, now that I got my cam cover installed, I'm gonna install these brackets. Uh, this kind of tall bracket with two different holes in it goes on the top. The smaller one goes here on the front side. I'm gonna snug these down, uh, but not tighten them yet. Just wanna get them to where you can move them around once we get the header installed. All right, so those are pretty close to being tight, but just loose enough that that bracket can slide kind of forward and back so we can get the alignment just right. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this plug in the top of the oil filter housing so I can install the fitting for the oil feed line. Um, so I'm gonna remove that, that's a quarter inch Allen. You wanna do this before you install your headers, otherwise it's near impossible to get in there and get it out. All right, so I got the plug out. I'm gonna put the new fitting in. The fitting's been kind of machined down because it's a really tight fit down in there. You wanna put a little liquid Teflon on your threads there. Get that started. All right, next we're gonna install the oil feed line. Uh, that line comes with two female threaded fittings already installed. One with a 90, one with like a 45 degree. The 45 degree is gonna go on the oil filter side. I'm gonna get this started here. All right, so I got this started and you wanna have this 45 kind of pointed in and the, the line kind of ran up uh, in front of the cylinder and it'll kind of wrap back around and attach the top of the turbo once we get that installed. Okay, now I've got the header all installed and torqued down in place. I kind of ran my O2 sensor wires uh, down along the frame and back where they will be connecting into the Thundermax uh, wire harness. Uh, we're gonna get the turbo installed here. So I'm gonna get the turbo mounted to the headers first and then get the plenum installed. And then uh, I'm not gonna tighten anything yet. I'm gonna put the plenum in get all, everything just loosely installed and get this lined up with the plenum and then we can go ahead and tighten everything down. Well, now that I got that turbo just loosely installed on the header, it's in place, but you can still move it around, realizing that my bunking crash bar and this turbo are not gonna work together. So I'm gonna have to remove that. I'll try and maybe look at other options at what we have. Maybe I'll do a post or another video down the road and update you guys on how I solved that issue, but that will have to come off because it is right in front of the turbo. So that sucks, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get the uh, support plate for the plenum installed here, and then I can get the plenum installed, and then I'm gonna get the exhaust put on. And once I have all that installed kind of loosely, I'll make sure everything lines up good, get everything tightened down. All right, just to make this a little bit easier, um, I installed the bolt that holds the exhaust on. I just have it kind of loose. Uh, just helps me kind of hold it in place while I get this V-band started. It's kind of a pain to kind of hold and get this V-band kind of started all at the same time. So. Just start that, it'll kind of hold the pipe in place and then, and don't torque that, just, just enough to kind of hold it in place while you get this thing started. All right guys, so I got the turbo all finished in, you know, and installed last night. Um, Want to just kind of go over a few of the minor details, the wiring and some of the plumbing that I did. Uh, but real quick, I just want to give a huge shout out to Law Tigers for helping uh, make these videos happen. 
Uh, the Lodge Tigers are motorcycle attorneys. They'll have your back, take care of you. If you're ever in an accident, you know, I really hope and pray that you don't have to use them, but if you do, they should be your first call. They'll get you taken care of. So thanks to the Lodge Tigers. Um, another thing I wanted to just touch on real quick, earlier in the video, I was talking about uh, purchasing the, the turbo kits. This tornado kit is available through Drag Specialties. We're a Drag Specialties dealer. All this stuff is available on our website. So whether you want this kit or one of the other kits that you order directly from Trask, we can also get you set up with that. And we also do, we get a lot of questions on the turbo kits because it is a big purchase. We do offer financing. So we work with a couple of companies that you can spread out those payments and make it a little easier. So. Uh, shoot us a message or uh, give us a call if you have any questions on that stuff. So jumping into the turbo install, kind of finishing it up. I got the plenum installed and everything hooked up. Uh, so the wastegate uh, installed. Uh, we got a pressure line coming from the back of the wastegate up to the back side of the plenum. Uh, there's another vacuum line coming off the, uh, the stock manifold. Has like a little uh, uh, barb coming off of the top of it and it's just plugged from the factory. You pull that, that cap off and run a vacuum through the wastegate. Uh, we got the new map sensor uh, pig, pigtail and the two bar map sensor installed. And then I have a, uh, a vacuum, or not a vacuum line, but a pressure line uh, ran up to the boost gauge that I still got to install on the handlebar. So that's really pretty much it for the install on the turbo. It's really not a bad install. Uh, goes pretty quick. I think the hardest part is just getting the header and you know the plenum and the turbo and everything to line up. The header is actually three different pieces. There's two slip joints in it, so there's a little bit of manipulation that needs to happen to kind of get everything to line up. But other than that, it's it's been pretty smooth and pretty easy. I've been uh, really impressed. So um, mid control setup. So I did have to ditch the Speed Merchant mids, and the reason being is is that setup mounts off of the transmission and the peg sits right here where the wastegate is. And there was just gonna be no way of like trying to modify or move anything around, make it work. So um, I am going to be installing the RNS mid controls, which are kind of like a more further forward mid. They'll use the stock footboard mount location and then the peg is gonna be here, like off, you know, kind of the backside of the cam cover. And everything should clear and uh, work well. So if you want to run mids and have kind of that aggressive stance and run the turbo, uh, it's a good option. And I'm going to get these installed. We'll, I'll kind of show you how they all fit together after I get it all done. And the last thing I got to do is I got to install the boost gauge. Uh, I got to put the Thundermax in and get a map programmed into it. And then I'm going to move it over into the dyno room and get this thing dialed in. So I'm going to jump into these mids and get them buttoned up. All right, so I am done with the install. I got the mids all set up. Um, everything clears the turbo just fine. I got the primary side set up as well. And the install on that uh, mid control kit is super simple. It's really about as basic as, as it gets. So it's cool to know that turbo and the RNS mids work together. Uh, I got my Thundermax installed. I went through the process of uh, uploading a map to it from Trask. Uh, double checking a bunch of settings, making sure it's ready for that first fire up. And that's pretty much where we're at now. We're ready to fire this thing up for the first time and see what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and fire it.
All right, so that is it for the video uh, and the install of this Trask Turbo Kit. Uh, my next steps, I'm gonna be rolling it into the dyno room and getting the tune kind of dialed in. We're gonna make another video, so stay tuned for that and look for that one coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them below. Let us know what you think. Thanks.